chicken pot pie is that classic comfort food. And contrary to common belief, it is not just found in the freezer aisle. Now, this may seem scary, but it's very easy. We're gonna start with a whole chicken, a boatload of veggies, a buttery, flaky pastry that's gonna finish with an empty plate and a good nap afterwards. As a bonus, I'm gonna show you a surefire way of making a rich, satisfying filling for this chicken pot pie. We're gonna start with one whole chicken in a pot. Roughly chop the vegetables, which are gonna be onions, celery, and carrots. Also adding in two bay leaves and peppercorns. And last but not least, of course, the water. Now this is doing two things. One, it's cooking the chicken, and two, it's making a very flavorful broth that we can use in the filling for this chicken pot pie. I'm gonna simmer for one hour on medium, just so the chicken's cooked. Carefully remove the chicken from the pot, leaving everything else in there. Pull all the meat off of the chicken carcass and put it off the side. Now with those bones in a leftover rib cage, put it back into the pot and let it simmer for an additional hour. This is gonna reduce by half, but this is gonna make a very rich, flavorful broth that you're not gonna to wanna to miss out on. While that broth is reducing and building up that great, amazing flavor, we're gonna work on pastry. In a bowl, put one and a half cups of flour, a quarter cup grated butter, and a quarter cup grated lard. Mix everything together until it comes in a nice mealy texture, and then add in a quarter cup of super cold water, along with one teaspoon of salt. Everything's gonna to mix together and become a shaggy mass. Dump it out of the bowl, on your counter, and continue to mix just until everything forms a ball. This is perfect, don't do anything more with this. Wrap it, put it in the fridge, let it chill for a half hour. That sauce is halfway reducing, so we're gonna start with our filling. You're gonna need a good sized skillet or pot for this, so grab the biggest one you have. Four tablespoons of butter, two leeks, roughly chopped, one diced carrot, three stalks of diced celery, and three cloves of garlic. Now this is gonna look like a lot of vegetables in the pot, and it is. It's also gonna cook down and reduce by half. So don't worry, stir it occasionally for about four or five minutes. Then add in two cups of quartered mushrooms. You want them a bit chunkier because you want to see the mushroom and you want to get a bit more texture from the mushroom also in the chicken pot pie. After the mushrooms have cooked slightly, add in four tablespoons of flour. This is gonna help thicken our chicken pot pie and that flour is gonna combine with the butter and the vegetables to make sure everything's evenly coated. You're not gonna have any lumps when you add in your chicken broth. Put in one liter of that concentrated chicken broth into your pot of veggies. Stir it around and wait for the magic to happen because in about roughly two to three minutes, that filling is gonna to start to thicken up really nicely. From there, add in four cups of roughly chopped chicken that we took off of the initial chicken at the beginning of the video. Add in four cups of chicken to your pot of veggies and give everything a nice stir. Now that builds even more flavor into this chicken pot pie filling. I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of thyme, one tablespoon of rosemary, and one tablespoon of sage. This is like the holy trinity of a poultry seasoning. You can't go without these three herbs. And as I promised, I'm gonna make this filling super rich by adding one simple ingredient, a quarter cup of heavy cream. This quarter cup of heavy cream is gonna add great flavor that you want and this chicken pot pie filling definitely needs. Hey, if you like those tips on creating a rich, flavorful chicken pot pie filling using heavy cream in your own homemade chicken broth, then go ahead and subscribe to get more great tips just like this in all my videos. And you're gonna notice already that this pot is running out of room and there's still two more ingredients to add to it, chopped zucchini and frozen peas. I did say there's gonna be a bowl of veggies, didn't I? The best bet for all of this filling is to grab your deepest casserole dish and pour it all into there. But remember to leave about two inches of space. So grab that pie crust out of the fridge where it's been chilling for the last hour. And on a well-floured surface, roll your pastry out to a quarter inch thickness or about one centimeter. An important note for this pastry, it doesn't have to be beautiful, it just has to be functional. So roll that pastry out over top crimp the edges, and brush with egg wash. 
fire it into an oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. I guess we'll have to wait for this one, eh? All right, so the chicken pot pie is done. It's coming out of the oven. And look at that pastry. It's the first thing you notice. Golden, brown, and flaky. Everything that we wanted. And on, on the edges and in the center, that sauce is starting to bubble up through all the cracks in the pastry. Like, just look at that flaky pastry, that moist chicken, that rich, flavorful sauce from that reduced chicken broth and that heavy cream. This is gonna make you think twice about buying another frozen chicken pot pie from the grocery store. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.